Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are heading over to pick up some round bales. So we got some bales made last week and uh, we've left, we did get some of them drew home, then we had a little bit of rain uh, for a couple of days, so we didn't didn't take them, didn't get them all drew home. But we've really nice sunny day today, the bales should be nice and dry, uh, so we can take them home, get them into the get them into our, our shed and store and sow them for the winter. Uh, some of these are actually sold, but uh, we're going to take them home, put them in the shed for now, and uh, then the, the customer can pick them up in the next few days. Um, yeah, I'm in the teleporter. I've got the smaller bale trailer, which can take roughly about 20 bales. And uh, we also then have Ben is in the 6420. He's got uh, a larger bale trailer on, which can take, I think it can take about 28 bales, maybe close to 30 bales. And uh, Dad then, he is uh, in on the bale trailer as well, it can take 30 bales too. So, yeah, we should have a lot of the bales home now on this trip. Uh, the 6.4 is all fixed up and sorted out. Some people ask me about it, did we ever get the brakes sorted on it? Yes, uh, it's the, the, the tractor's fixed now for a couple of weeks. Really, since since we got the silage done, uh, in those couple of days after that, we, we sorted out. When I was here turning the hay, um, Dad was getting the brakes sorted, Dad and uh, my brother-in-law Alex to give him a hand with them as well. So we needed to get the, the 6.4 back on the road because it was needed, so just the way it worked out. Anyway, uh, just pulling up to the field now, I'll set the camera up. Uh, I'm going to try and get Ben to take a little bit of drone footage today, hopefully when I'm loading the bales. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how we get on.
Okay, a small story about uh, when I was building this field. Uh, this back field and this plot of land has got an absolutely amazingly steep hill in it. Uh, one of the steepest hills that we have to farm or have to do any work on. Uh, fantastic views here from the back of it. I video last year when I was mowing it, uh, just showing some of the views and there's stunning views uh, right out to Dundalk Bay uh, over to the right hand side. But uh, whilst, whilst bailing it, uh, dropped off a bale up the top of the hill. Five minutes later, I had probably dropped out another few bales in the meantime. Uh, coming down the hill, a bale passed me at high speed. Time we got to the bottom here, I was probably doing about 50, 60 mile an hour. And you can just about see here now the left hand corner of the screen, uh, kind of moving in the centre, where it just rolled down through some of the scrub at the bottom, hit a stone, di stone ditch that there is a stone wall, a uh, stone wall ditch. Uh, it took off about 40 feet in the air and landed. Now you can just see the net wrap here where it unravelled, it caught and unravelled, and the bale completely rolled out. Uh, it's not it's not not retrievable where it is. It fell away down an embankment, and down amongst the load of trees. So just one of those things that can happen sometimes. Uh, and the bale had sat for quite a while. It seemed to be on a level area area, but obviously it wasn't. Uh, just lucky there was no one or nothing at the bottom that uh, it could do any harm to as it went. So small story. And uh, now back to the video. Okay, so it's a few hours later on at the stage. And well, actually, it's a good few hours later on. You can see it's dark outside now at this point, but we got all the hay loaded. Uh, three trailers had 86 bales in total loaded onto them. Uh, very happy to have them home at this stage because uh, the wind is just picking up out there. We've got a storm war warning for tomorrow night. Uh, it's going to be some heavy rain tomorrow, uh, which isn't good. So glad to have these in and out of the way. We've been quite lucky here over the last week or so. The last storm didn't really materialise to much rain here, so uh, compared to down the country, down the south, uh, some of the Midlands, the west, and even uh, up to the northwest of us, uh, up Donegal and up that direction, got a lot of rain. We we were quite lucky here. We only had we only had about fifteen mil of rain, so yeah, it's not, it wasn't too bad. But we're not going to get away with tomorrow. They're forecasting for I think maybe thirty thirty five mil of rain tomorrow, so it's going to be a lot of rain, but. Glad to have the hay in, glad to have it home. Uh, the, of the 86 bales, uh, 66 were loaded off in the, the shed just away from us here, away from the, the home yard. It's just up the road a little bit. It's got, uh, yeah, it's just an old style hay shed that we store some bales in over the winter. Uh, so we put 86 in there. These 20, we left them on the trailer uh, because there's a customer coming tomorrow morning for some of them. Uh, They're going to take... I think there's 24 going tomorrow altogether. We've 20 on the trailer, and there's some more down here at the back. We've got about another 30 stacked here at the back. So, uh, yeah, they'll take. They're going to take maybe a couple of loads tomorrow. So there'll probably be quite a good hole in these tomorrow. There'll be a lot of them will be gone. Um, yeah, whatever then is left that isn't sold, we will then move them up to the hay shed then on the on on another farm up the road. So, yeah. We'll just have to see what, what gets taken. We've left them here just for handiness, really, because it's handier to have them here in the yard than having to travel away all the time. Now, uh, my friends at Olight have sent me out uh, a light to uh, to show you. Now, uh, they run these sales every now and again, and they send me out a light, usually something that's new uh, or uh, new, to, new to the market for them. And... Basically, yeah, just to show, give a quick show of the light and to mention the sale. So they have a, a, a flash sale, if you like, or it's or they're calling it the Elite Sale. It's uh, starting 8 p.m. on the 24th of the 8th and it is running to midnight uh, on the 28th of the 8th. So it's running for a few days now this week. Uh, dark evenings are starting to come in, so it's a good chance now if you're looking for a torch to head over and to grab a torch because there's some great sales on. They're, uh, they're saying that there's 40 items on sale, uh, so some really great deals there for you if you want to get in there and uh, if you're looking for all, all different types of lights and sizes and whatever, they'll have something to accommodate your needs. Uh, and uh, this here light, it's the SR, as I say, Batten 2 Orange, uh, so it's new new orange edition in it. And it's a small, lightweight, uh, bright light. Uh, it's uh, got a thousand lumens 
and it's a, what they call an EDC torch. So yeah, it's like a pocket torch. So it's a small torch that uh, packs quite a punch and throws out plenty of light. Uh, it's 40% off this when bundled with the i3T uh, OD green. So uh, if you buy this and a small, uh, another another torch, uh, yeah, you know, some, some good deals on. So we'll just pull it out. I actually haven't opened it yet. Sent this out to me a couple of weeks ago. So it's only a small pocket torch. You can see it's quite small. Uh, being uh, being Olight, of course, you've got all the the nice goodies that comes with it. It comes with a, a couple of little lanyard straps, a charging lead. There's a, there's a little bag then for holding the torch as well. Uh, so lots of, lots of nice stuff. Uh, there's also... This is new here. What is this here? Oh, it's going to fall away on me. Uh, it is... Oh, a storage for the battery. So you're taking out of the product and you want to store the battery, you can put it in that. That's That, that wasn't some of the last torches I sent out, so that's new. So, let's take the torch out. And it, now, they're, they're small in appearance. Uh, now, there's a little pocket clip here. We'll just pull it off for the moment. And we will open the torch because there is always a little plastic here to stop... Uh, it using or wasting any of the battery. Now, so we turn it on, and you can see that it really does pack quite a punch with light for the size of it. Uh, usually, see there now it's even brighter. Uh, we we'll see now, and it's got there's all different settings on it. And uh, we we'll see now. Usually, if you hold it down, it'll scroll through all the different brightnesses of the light. Uh, so this looks like there's three different brightnesses of light and uh, then there's a flashing light so yeah all different settings now I'm just turn hold on and we'll just walk outside now the gopro isn't good in the dark as i've said before so uh, it it can be it can be a bit hard for the gopro just to, to focus in but you can see i'm standing in one end of the yard here and wherever the light shines way down like it's it can shine right down the yard and it's very bright like it's lighting up uh, the whole side of the shed there. The GoPro isn't even doing it justice, you know, so Yeah, just the way it is, but yeah, great light uh, and Certainly very useful if you're looking for a small light uh, So get over there. I've got an affiliated link which is in the description below uh, So if you go in and buy anything through there, I get a small percentage of it uh, sent to me then uh, so you're helping to support the channel by doing that and uh, Anything that, that helps the channel out is hugely appreciated and uh, yeah, very grateful for that. So that's it. Uh, yeah, head over there, have a look at it. If you're looking for a small pocket light, uh, the S10 Batten uh, 2 in orange. Uh, I think they have some other colours too. I know you used to be able to get them in, you can get them in black and I think you can get them. Was this available in a green? Something tells me it was, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. So go ahead over there, they'll show you all the colours that they have in stock and get you sorted out with a light. As I say, there's lots of other deals as well on all different sides of the lights. So if you're looking for something bigger even, get over there and get it now because uh, this might be the last sale they have for a while and as I say, dark evenings are coming in. It's just an opportunity for you to maybe save a couple of quid and uh, yeah, get sorted out. So check out the affiliated link and do all that and so that's it. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the bit of loading of the hay earlier on. Um, yeah, got a little bit of drone footage of that. And yeah, we'll see what's happening over the next couple of days. And we'll see you later in the week. Have a good week.